Happy Monday, world! Welcome to season two, episode two of Good News from Around the World. I need, I need one of those slates. That'll do. My name is Sia Zerbi, and I have made it my mission to give you good news that's happening from around the world every single Monday morning. Because I wanted to start off your week on a positive note. I'll start things off with a bit of good news that I have about my life. We got a puppy. His name is Atlas. He was just sleeping. All right, back to bed. Also, if there's anything good happening in your life, I'd love to read about it. Write it in the comments below. This channel is all about sharing good news. Now a message from our sponsors. I, I don't have any sponsors. I have, I have 2,000 subscribers. No, no one's sponsoring this channel. Okay, on to the good news. Let's get started. Today, January 15th, is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. This is actually his birthday. Happy birthday, Martin. He was a minister and then became the leader of the civil rights movement. If you're white, if you're black, if you're Asian, if you're Indian, if you're Filipino, if you're South American, it doesn't matter. I believe everyone should be treated equally. I have parents from two different races, so I truly value the work that this guy did. It only takes one person to start a movement. I encourage you to stand up for what you believe in. You could start a movement! I almost couldn't believe this story when I read it. In West Yorkshire, England, a police officer was en route to a car accident. The car had flipped over and it was pretty much dangling off of a bridge. It was like teetering whether it was going to fall off the bridge or not. He was holding onto the wheel making sure the car didn't fall off the bridge. And then emergency vehicles arrived, secured the dangling vehicle, and they got the driver out safely. What's this cop's name? Willis? Willis! You are badass! NASA just reinvented the wheel. You know the all-time joke about not reinventing the wheel? Yeah, well, NASA did it. You wouldn't really think it's important to reinvent the wheel, but when you're sending robots to other planets and other terrains, the wheels have to change. Can you imagine an astronaut on the moon trying to pump up a tire? <laughs> now with this tire, the game changer is that it's made of nickel titanium. And when it goes over a rock, it compresses and molds to that rock, and then it springs back to be in its regular shape. There are three benefits to this alloy wheel. One, it can go over more surfaces and terrains. Two, it can handle high pressure impacts at high speeds. Number three, it won't sink when it comes across a terrain with loose materials. They're, they're planning for quicksand on Mars? Really makes you think, just because something's invented doesn't mean it can't get better. I know there's little inventors out there watching this video. Look around. You might see something in your house that could be better. You could be the inventor that takes it there. I'm sure you have heard the devastating story of Chernobyl, but this story has a positive twist. Chernobyl is famous for the biggest nuclear disaster in the world. You can't live there, you can't grow crops, you can't really do much, but what they are doing is building a massive solar plant on the property, about the size of two football fields. There will be technicians that have to go to the site for maintenance and repairs and setting them up. Obviously, they're professionals, they're going to have radiation testers and make sure that they're not going to be in harm's way. Thankfully, a massive dome was built over top of the high radiation area. This is a fantastic idea because the land wasn't doing anything before. Why not actually put something there that's useful? In Gold Coast, Australia, Hostel World actually built a hostel made of sand. Now, as a big traveler, I have used Hostel World a lot. Now, they sent out a question to all of their users. They wanted to know what was everyone's dream hostel. If they could invent one, if they could create it, what would be their dream hostel? But someone recommended a sand hostel. My wife Kristen and I actually got to stay in this hostel in Australia. Okay, this is one of the rooms. They had a private room and they also had a dorm room. The hostel was only up for three days and I think they were like renting the rooms for like a dollar or two dollars, something like super small, just because they wanted people to come and check it out. If you guys could have your dream hostel, what would it be? Mine would definitely be in space. Space hostel. Hostel world? Hook it up. In order to survive, animals need to inhale oxygen and they exhale carbon dioxide. Plants do the opposite. 
they inhale carbon dioxide and they create oxygen. A research team just created synthetic photosynthetic photosynthesis photosynthesis photosynthesis. I'm I'm really trying. Synthetic photosynthesis. Got it. Imagine you have a factory that is blowing smoke out its chimney. So this device would take that smoke, convert it back into oxygen, and that process is actually generating electricity to power the factory. Imagine solar panels on roofs that aren't just generating power, but they're also cleaning the air. In San Francisco, California, there's a hotel called Hotel Nico. Every hotel offers room service, but this hotel, if you want to, will send a puppy up to your room to snuggle with. How amazing would that be? After a long, stressful day to go back to your hotel room, call front desk and say, I would like a puppy, please. That is it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, comment below, let me know which of these stories was your favorite. I will continue to provide good news stories to you guys every single Monday. If you guys have any stories that you'd like me to look into or feature, send me an email. I will answer every single one of your emails. I'll see you next Monday.